Before getting started, a sincere thank you for your purchase of Click Studio's cabinetry. Hardware adjustments are common after cabinets have been shipped and needed for future use, especially with highly used cabinets. Along with this video, Click Studios provides a companion cabinet hardware adjustment PDF guide that may provide additional help and details. If the adjustment solutions in both guides don't resolve the alignment issue, please contact our customer service department at customerservice at clickstudios.com or 888-350-1242. We're open Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Central Time. There are a few important notes to go over before getting into drawer box and glide adjustments. Click Studios uses Bloom Tandem Plus Blue Motion Soft Close Full Access Concealed Undermount Drawer Glides for all standard and deep drawer boxes and rollout trays. Bloom is a world leader in the manufacturing and production of cabinet hardware. Their drawer glide is a durable, complex mechanism built from 170 parts and manufactured at Bloom's North Carolina factory. The glides are tested to function smoothly after 100,000 open and close cycles and support 90 pounds of moving weight. After shipping, your cabinet drawers may require adjustments before and after installation. You may have a cabinet drawer box that may not close properly and needs to be realigned. It's important and easier to inspect and correct the drawer box glides before cabinet and decorative hardware installation. Before making any adjustments, it's important to know the reveal or gap dimensions between the drawer fronts, doors, and cabinet frame sides. With full overlay door styles, the drawer front should be approximately one half inch between the top of the cabinet face frame and the top of the drawer front. The drawer front should be approximately one quarter inch from the sides of the cabinet face frame. For inset style cabinets, the gap between the drawer fronts and the face frame should be approximately one eighth of an inch. The dimensions are approximate as the frames of the cabinet and drawers are manufactured from solid hardwood. Solid hardwood absorbs and releases moisture from the environment, causing the hardwood to expand and contract, resulting in minor movement. There are two types of adjustments for drawers, adjusting the drawer box and adjusting the drawer front. Depending on the alignment issue, one or more adjustments may be needed for the drawer to function and align properly. It's essential to remove drawer boxes for easy inspection and to prevent damage during installation. Removing drawer boxes also helps for future cleaning and organization. To remove the drawer from the cabinet, pull the drawer out and access the orange levers mounted under the drawer box. The orange levers secure the drawer box to the glides. To release the drawer, extend the drawer out completely, squeeze the orange levers, and then pull the drawer out and up at the same time. To replace the drawer box, simply extend both glides and place the drawer box back on the glides, aligning with the drawer box channels, and shut the drawer box completely. The orange levers will click when the glides are captured. Drawer Box Adjustments If the drawer box is closed and is crooked, more than likely the glides at the back of the cabinet are out of alignment. Open the drawer box completely, or if installed, remove the drawer box, and check that the white brackets attached to the back of the cabinet are centered. The brackets slide left to right. After aligning the brackets, close drawer and test to see that it closes evenly. Note, the white brackets may not be exactly on center when your drawer box closes properly. This is the self-alignment feature. If the drawer doesn't completely shut, the back glide pin may not be properly inserted into the hole at the back of the drawer box. Pull the drawer out 15 to 20 inches and locate the tilt adjustment lever. Behind the lever is a flat metal glide pin that must insert into the hole at the back of the drawer to close. Check both the left and right sides. If the drawer box is aligned but doesn't close smoothly, the orange levers that connect the glides to the drawer box may not be secured. Open the drawer, look underneath, and check that the metal glide is inserted properly into the orange lever. The teeth on the orange lever should catch the glide and secure it to the drawer box. Check both the left and right sides. Drawer Front Adjustments The drawer front attached to the drawer box can be independently adjusted approximately one eighth of an inch in any direction. Inside the drawer box, pan head screws secure the drawer front to the drawer box. Using a Phillips screwdriver, loosen but don't remove the screws and align each side of the drawer front. Then retighten the screws. Using the glide's orange lever underneath the drawer box, the front of the drawer front can be adjusted up-down approximately one-eighth of an inch. Under the drawer box, locate the gray adjustment tab attached to the orange lever. Press up on the gray adjustment tab and push forward or backward to adjust the rise or fall of the drawer front. Check both the left and right sides. The drawer front angle can be tilted front to back approximately one-eighth of an inch. This adjustment is especially helpful with inset cabinetry. 
locate the gray tilt adjustment lever outside the back of the drawer box and at the rear of the runner. The gray lever can be rotated back and forth to adjust the drawer front angle or tilt forward or backward. Check both the left and right sides. Again, thank you for your purchase, and please feel free to contact customer service if you have any further questions.